been a long while since we uh, looked at the inside of the 66 here. Needs a wee tune up. Well, it needs a, a few things, but now that I've tore down the mistress there, um, the old uh, red beast here can get a little bit of get a little bit of love. I noticed uh, quite a bit more smoke blow by, crankcase pressure uh, kind of seeping out. We'll probably see that. It hasn't been started in a week or two. Uh, probably two weeks. Anyway, we'll see what we can do. Uh, later I'll get out the vacuum gauge because I'm really, uh, I'm curious to um, make sure that the air fuel mixture is right, that sort of thing. Anyway, this will probably take a few cranks given that uh, it's been a while. But that's no bueno. That has way too much pressure. You have to find out what that's about because uh, that's about twice as bad as it was last time I started it. I'll let it warm up too, that's good. She got more than a wee case of the whooping cough voice. Serious blow by. See, one of the piston rings is fully unhappy, or more than one. Not fully warmed up yet, but I need the keys to get in the trunk of the blue one. That's still a very reasonable um, vacuum setting. You know, we were getting on an average 21. <clears throat> Not bad. My adjustments to the mixture uh, really, well, they didn't do much until it started to want to stall, and you know, then I back it off a little bit. But that's a little interesting. But anyway, you know, except for the blow-by, still kind of okay. But I suspect it's not fully happy. 
So we'll get into that one. I'll be back. It's been a fair while since we've been out for a rip. A couple months anyway since we've been in this one. Brought a screwdriver just in case uh, <clears throat> I left the car in a weird state. See where it takes us. Oh, I forgot the air cleaner. Oh, well, we got clean air out here in Suki. Won't be a problem. A couple of horsepower out of it. It's not hesitating or anything, which is good. We'll find out when we get on the road. make a list of everything this thing needs and uh, try and get on some of it. I don't want shit to domino and one thing lead to another and then normal problems become bigger problems. But sometimes money and time is like just not there. Or weather. Always been impressed with how smooth this car actually rides. And steers, you know. It's quite a piece of machinery. Thought I owed that pedal, but obviously not. metal stop that is no longer on the passenger wiper and so it can actually go further and embeds itself right down on the uh, cowl and then they won't come on because it's done stuck. I really want to get a air fuel mixture sensor. I'm not sure I want them permanently mounted, but I would love one that maybe fits on the back of the tailpipe or something like that. You can have to look up if they make those. This would be like an old school um, emissions tester almost, you know what I mean? Like, I don't give a fuck about the carbon monoxide uh, level, but I do care about the air fuel. That way you can get it tuned just right. Oddly for this, uh, you know, quote unquote pristine island, it's really weird that uh, in my part of the world here, we don't even have smog testing. Doesn't matter what age. <laughs> Good for me. This would have been exempt anyway, but uh, yeah, I don't know about the 74. I guess it would be exempt as well. So I'd probably be okay. But yeah, for a bunch of goddamn granola people around here. I would have thought it'd be yearly, like California or something.
All right. No breakdowns. Have a good one. I'll, um, I'll be back. I'm not sure what else I'm going to get up to today, but uh, I'll probably put the video together. And Yeah, might be it for today. Anyway, thanks for watching, um, as usual. And I will uh, see you soon. Bye.